You may wonder why I'm standing in this modern kitchen. Well, welcome to my new show, Cooking with Colleen. And thanks to our gracious host I mean hostess, I am able to use this 21st century kitchen instead of my small impractical galley. Today we will be making a recipe from a book that I found called Steampunk Tea Parties. Gemma Emily Ladybird Hewitt is the author, and you can find this book on the on the oh the internets. That's where you can find it on the internets. The, today we'll be making a recipe called Black Tea Eggs. Now, to start with this recipe, you need six eggs, a pan with cold water, and you're just going to place each egg in individually into the pot. Once you've done this, you want to put it on high, and it's a miracle of science, there's no flame. Once those are done cooking, you want them to cook for 10 minutes, then you're going to run them under very cold water so that you can touch them. Now comes the, the probably the most difficult part of this recipe, and that is where you roll them along a hard surface and you break just the shell, but not the membrane. This is going to give you a pattern on the egg. Now, to make that pattern, we're going to start with two tablespoons of black tea, three star anise. Now, if you are in the 21st century, the easiest place to find these is Roush's. You want three and a half or three quarters cup of soy sauce. A teaspoon of fennel seeds. And like most cooks, I usually don't measure. So this is a new experience for me. A stick of cinnamon. Cloves, a spoon of pepper, and a teaspoon of salt. Once you have all your ingredients assembled, you're going to bring them over to your stove, and once again, you're going to put it on high. Once it starts to boil, you're going to pull it off the stove. And you're going to add your cracked eggs to it. Now, this is as far as you can go at this time. You need to let these sit in the tea solution for three to six hours. So I will be seeing you in a little while. Welcome back to Cooking with Colleen. As you can see, our eggs are finished. Now, this is the other tricky part, peeling these. I find it's easier to rinse them off a little bit. And carefully pull the shell away. You have a marbled egg. I have some more to show you. As you can see, they'll all be different and unique. Be right back. And there we are, our finished product. Please remember that our recipe comes from Steampunk Tea Party. You can find this anywhere on the internet. And thank you to to our lovely hostess for letting me use her kitchen. And this has been Cooking with Colleen. Please join us again soon.
Bye!